<laughs> well, we have to talk about the second half of the 4th of July weekend. Mm -hmm. We know the firework shows are coming. So, yes, there's a lot of pressure. Pressure when you work in the weather department near the 4th of July. So, we'll talk about that. Temperature right now is 77 degrees. Those winds, quiet as can be. And, yes, dew points in the 70s. I will say that's going to change by tomorrow. So, temperatures here across the state, low 70s. Frederick there, 73. Westminster, 74. La Plata, upper 70s for you. And then places like Annapolis, you're still holding on in the low 80s. As for the dew point, 60s and 70s. However, tomorrow we're talking about some dew points dipping into the 50s. So it is going to be a warm day, but it is certainly going to be kind of a dry heat over the area. Winds right now generally very quiet, six miles an hour, but most places below that. Westerly and southwesterly, it looks like across the area. And thank you so much to our weather watchers on your game on this Sunday night. So, Michael Ripnick checking in from Brooklyn Park, Maryland, 79 degrees. We certainly appreciate that. Let's get a check on a few other temperatures. Oh, I believe that those did not update because I don't think we're in the 90s at this point. So, that was my mistake. The radar and satellite, this is the setup. So, we had that cold front move through today. That is now well off to the Atlantic. We have another cold front though set to move in tomorrow evening. So you'll notice here we are tonight at midnight, clear skies, a good dose of sunshine I would say through the day and then in the evening. So right around dinner time through midnight we have about a 20 to 30 percent chance for a few showers to pop up. However, the majority of the rain is going to stay to the north of us. As we move into Tuesday, Independence Day, here we are 5 o'clock in the evening. And yes, a little bit of rain there popping up. But for the most part, we are going to be dry for the 4th of July. So certainly don't cancel any outdoor plans. There is a chance, though, for a few thunderstorms. And then Wednesday and Thursday, we actually have another system that's going to move through. Did want to talk about this threat for severe weather. So you'll notice, Maryland, we are just included in this light green. So we could see a just basic thunderstorm. We are not facing this threat for severe weather. That is to the north of us, but close enough that it's just something we want to be aware of. Basically, that cold front is going to move through late enough in the day that it will have weakened by the time it gets to us. Let's talk about what's uh, happening here in the tropics. So this broad, pretty weak area. Area of low pressure 650 miles west southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands. An update it now has a 60% chance of formation over the next five days. If you're taking the boat out tomorrow, southwest winds right around five knots. Tonight, we're going to dip down into the upper 60s. Tomorrow, yes, we're headed for 93 degrees. We hit 92 today. And of course, we have your fireworks forecast. So we're looking good there. Partly cloudy at fireworks time temperatures in the low 80s. There's a look at our five day. Marcus? All right, Meg, thanks. And make sure you watch Lynn and Marty tomorrow morning, starting at 4.55 for the updated first warning weather forecast.